Hey guys, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. My name is D Free, and I had a fun idea for this one. Well, it's not like the craziest idea or anything, but you know, a lot of people are kind of sharing their experience on social media, or some of them make a video. Some of them are doing both. I will be doing both, but. We're going to go ahead and go over my Legends recap. So down below in the description will be a link you guys can click to get the exact results you guys are going to see from me and my account. And then we're going to talk about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to see this video hit our goal of 800 likes, so please help us do so. And uh, if you haven't already been checking it out, I have been doing some DBS TCG, Dragon Ball Super Card Game stuff, over on a new Dragon Ball Super Card Game specific channel. Check it out if you are interested, only if you're interested. All right, so let's hop in and see what... Uh, uh, what what this says for us man all right let's go over here that's not it uh there we go there we go okay uh so <laughs> legends is still on in the background but whatever who cares you can still kind of see it but that's just i didn't realize that was going to happen so anyway whatever just ignore the bars at the top and bottom you probably didn't notice until i pointed it out anyway let's full screen this bad boy now you don't see it anymore do you wait a minute wait a minute hold on hold on hold on I got to make sure that this, uh, you guys can hear the audio. I don't think this is anything copywritten. I always have the freaking audio off because everything always is freaking copywritten, bro. Oh, this sounds kind of dope, though. Sounds kind of cool. Senpai, your journey began on May 7, 2018. Harnessed 187,000 energy. Five million Chrono Crystals. <laughs> I wonder who my top characters are. Because I'm a chameleon. I don't use one team very often. I'm really curious to see the mixture. Your character collection is 97 complete. Yeah, I have like seven or eight characters I'm missing. 543 to their max level. And limit broken 508 to seven star. Whoo! Look at that. Oh, look at Kyle Ken. Everybody loves you, man. You're the best character ever. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Top five, okay. I got a comment on that. We'll go back to it. And who are these? Engage in 17K PVP battles. My God, I have no life. I do, but I don't. What? How is that my top team? <laughs> KO 30K, fearsome foes. How is that my top team? <laughs> Alright, you also can scan that QR code to get your own personal stuff, so you don't gotta do the link in the description. What? How is that? How is that my team? No way! I call BS on that. I think they chose random characters. Because like I was saying, I, uh, for like the last couple of years, most of the time I'm playing Legends, aside from like when I'm farming like, you know, events or whatever that they have, or you have to play certain content, most of the time when I'm playing is on camera these days. Because, you know, to the life thing, I don't really have time to play Legends outside of recording a lot. Um, because I spend time with my kids and my wife, all that stuff, so I don't have time. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was saying I'm a chameleon because you see a different team from me every other day. So like, I don't. I got an alarm going off. So like, I don't know how they get in these characters. Let's go back through it though one more time. So I am a legend. Clearly, I started on the first day the game was released, uh, May seventh, twenty eighteen. I'm not sure if that, if that date was literally when my account was created or what, because I think that was a couple of days before. Because I started a couple of days before on the on the soft launch. Because it launched like in like. The Philippines, I believe, first, and in some other areas, then it hit like Canada, I believe, and then finally it became like a American complete, like uh, worldwide release and all that stuff. So I don't know. Forgive me if I didn't use the correct terminology. I felt like saying American was wrong there. Uh, anyway, so there's that. Eight hundred. It's gonna say eighteen. A hundred and eighty-seven k energy. That's not like the craziest thing, I guess. I've been playing the entire time the game's been out. Uh, probably only missed the login less than five times. Amassed five million chrono crystals. So I want to know what the math is. Can some some mathematician uh, show me the the number for that in USD? In USD. So if I go to my shop right now for context, the US price for chrono crystals. Uh, this is how my shop looks. Let me flip back. So that's how my regular prices well those aren't regular prices i guess those are sales that's not completely like you can't really go based off regular prices because i buy a lot of sales or have bought a lot of sales right so it's not always one-to-one -one. 
but uh yeah that's kind of how my shop looks so five million feels like a lot i want to what gresh's number is what's gresh's number is gresh at 10 i, I would not at all be surprised if he's at 10 <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised um so five million chrono crystals for a, a few years there i was a pretty heavy whale i, I think the last time I, I whaled like crazy was probably legends fest 2021 and if you were playing back then they had that really awesome banner with a three times rates and three times z power since then they only do like two or, or i think they did three times for one not the other right something like that um but that banner format hasn't come back you know what in retrospect that banner format's mainly good if you need limit breaks on older characters because it doesn't really do a lot for like the new characters you just get a bunch of like like miscellaneous sparking characters right um, so that's, that's also kind of my thing with like the two times Z power thing that they've been doing ever since, which is like every character banner basically has two times. It's, it's good, but you know, two times Z power. Um, so anyway, like, but after that, there were a few times where I kind of, uh, went pretty hard after that. If there was a hype character, I really liked, like when the first beast Gohan came out instantly had to, had to, I didn't go crazy, crazy. Cause I don't like force characters to 14 star, but for that Gohan, I pushed him to six star stuff like that. Uh, and that was it. So, like, I, there were some that I went pretty hard on. Like, Legends Fest, not this year, but 2022, I went kind of hard on, too. But for the most part, I actually, like, you know how it said I have, like, 97% of the characters? That's because, if we flip back, that's because um, I I started being okay. That's not an image of my box there, is it? That's just some, okay, you don't see this. But, like, on the, the website, so I'm looking at the image, and it's like, those are totally not my characters. Not a two-star and stuff. Uh, maybe once upon a time, right? Um, but yeah, what I was saying is I, I kind of hit a point where I also was kind of like semi-okay with not having everything. So these are the characters I'm missing. Unfortunately, uh, some of them I didn't even like pull hard for. Like I did like a couple of multis and just called it quits, right? Um, so most of them are like EX characters though, a couple ultras. So those are the ones you can't really do much about because their pull rate is so abysmal. You know, the new EXs are like 1.25, 0.27 ultras are 0.3 so like 0.35 whatever so the, the rates are so bad on those pycon was a new lf so he'd be at 0.5 roshi i somehow don't have i didn't get him on his initial banner so i just don't have him still the trunks and and cell they i don't know that they've been on anything else i don't know that they've been on a banner outside of that mega rising banner and i refuse to hit that banner up especially now that sells pretty good trunks is kind of whatever but i'm still not going back to that banner and you can't make me all right let's cycle back over to the computer 97 percent though uh, we have 543 characters at max level and 508 characters at seven stars or higher. So that's kind of like if they did this a couple of years ago before the red stars were introduced, this would look, you know, it would be more impressive than it is. All this is saying that is that I have 508 out of, I think, 500 and at least 550. I wonder why the plus is there. Uh, I have most of the characters at least at a seven star level. And I would, I would argue, if we go back to my account, sorted by order received, we'll take off the uh, other rarities. We'll just leave these new ones on. And if you look at my newer characters, these are all the newer characters that I actually did pull. Uh, a lot of them are not high starred. And the ones that are, uh, like this one comes to mind. I got really lucky with them. I think I pulled them like twice or two or three times in that summon video. It was pretty crazy. Um, and then I multi Z powered you up and you're not even seven. So you don't even meet the criteria. But a lot of the characters are kind of just low. Uh, and then ultras, I actually don't bother with ultras more than once because it just, it doesn't seem worth it to me. It is worth it. I guess if you, if you plan on using that character a lot, but like I said in the beginning, I'm a bit of a chameleon. I don't, people ask me like, what's your, your main team? I have favorite characters, but I don't have like a favorite team. And we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, but this is still really cool though. I do, I do like this. So once again, help us hit our like goal, by the way, let's cycle back. So 508, 508, that's cool. Uh, and then the boy everybody's favorite character all right your top five fighters stand tall how do i dissect this you know what i think this is how i dissect this because i mean unless these are the strongest characters in my box right if i sort by power level they're not gonna be at the top are they no way these are the top five characters in my box let me sort by power level they're not, not even, well, Gohan and Vegito are, I guess, but like other characters like Super Vegito or Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, I'm not going to flip back to my computer, to my uh, tablet, but uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is number one, tied with Super Saiyan 2 LF Trunks. So yeah, it didn't, otherwise it's just a bunch of Zenkais, which these are all Zenkais, but no. So I'm not really sure what this number is. I, 
I would assume this is characters you use a lot, but then the next slide is for that. But I guess the way I was going to interpret this is that like these are the top five characters I use the most. And then the next slide is the one that um, maybe there's an explainer on the page, actually. Uh, there is not. Okay. So maybe the next slide is the one where it's like those are the, the main team that you used the most. So the way I'll dissect this is uh, this is like this is year one legends right here. Uh, year one, pre year two, uh, these characters came out in that time period. And uh, for me, up until about the third anniversary, I was going pretty hard on PvP. So that would explain why these characters are either characters I use the most or I got a lot of usage out of. I was going pretty hard on PvP. I actually cared a lot about it back then, and I would do a lot of high-ranking, you know, uh, runs and stuff like that. You know, people do the God Rank runs, and there's been like 50 seasons, I think, of PvP, and I've not pushed for God Rank a single time. Uh, it's not. I think I, I don't. I think I'm good enough to do it. I just think it's a time thing. I talked about my time. I don't have the time, right? But if I were to set aside the time, I could do it. So I've been debating about doing like a series of videos and streams as I'm, I'm also transitioning back into streaming more after not really doing it for the last couple of years because again, time. Um, but uh, I'm debating on doing that to where I do like a God rank push for the first time. So because I, I definitely think I'm good enough to do it. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm great or anything like that. I'm not like, you know, I played a lot of games. So there's that. But I feel like I'm good enough to do it because I I play against God rank players that are worse than me. Anyways, um, yeah, so I was going pretty hard back here in this time period of Legends, and uh, I played a lot. That kid Goku was so so fun to use. His grind was terrible, but on his release, he was so fun to use. Legends Road was so fun to use, and then he became the best character in the game when he got his Zenkai. Super Vegito and Gohan were two characters that were the best two in the game for the anniversary. I think Bardock is one that's like you get a lot of usage out of him because of the Holy Trinity setup, and then Super Saiyan three Goku is a little bit of a misnomer here because all that tells me is that this is probably his initial release if that is what i'm thinking it is uh he got a lot of use on his initial release where he was really really good for that black friday release so the next slide is where i was like wait how this doesn't even make any sense to me <laughs> uh, oh not this one bravely engaged in seventeen thousand pvp battles i would never have guessed i've played that many that is an insane amount it didn't show how many i've actually won let me let me actually i think in the game it actually shows that let me see my wins. Uh, total wins is 14,271. So what's the math on that? Out of 17,573, I've won 14,271 times. Jesus Christ. That's like a set. Well, off the top of my head, it's like 75% chance probably. Uh, I'm terrible at math, so that's just what it sounds right. That sounds right to me. Maybe it's a little higher, a little lower. But that's cool, though. 17. It doesn't feel like I played that many games. My God. PvP Mastery with your top team. Do they By top, do they mean Tournament of Power? Is that a joke? Are they, are they kidding? How the hell did this become my top team? <laughs> this doesn't even make any sense. I don't even know how to explain this. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this. I guess if I were to force myself to explain it. With top team, it has to mean a team like a, a three character set that I've used a lot, right? Versus the other slide, I think just using being five specific characters. Wouldn't these three be on that other slide though? This is kind of confusing. Uh, anyway, top team is kind of interesting because this is a good like setup, I guess. But you're you're most likely in this case looking at pre Zenkai Jiren. In fact, you're probably looking at Jiren on his initial release. And I assume all three of these characters came out within a few months of each other. I think that was the kind of main team for Tournament of Power back then. And I did use Kaioken Goku a lot. In fact, he's one of the only Ultras I think I, you know, I was kind of jokingly saying like, oh, everybody loves you, this and that, because I know nobody really likes him like that. But on release, I thought he was a little underrated, and I thought that he was just kind of pending a team. Jiren was cool, but kind of whatever. He was, he was cool, but just, you know, nothing crazy. That Frieza was pretty solid for his time. Um... But Ultra Kaioken is one of the few Ultras I actually did push for higher stars on. It was him and Broly, uh, because I wanted to show Broly with another limit break on him. And it's only two copies, so they've got, like, the red one or whatever, you know, happens after you get the second copy. Um, but I did do that. And so on Kaioken, I used him a lot. I actually specifically remember doing a lot of videos with Kaioken. I don't really, like... 
I don't really get to a point where I do like five or six or seven videos too often on one character anymore. I think the last time I really did that was like Blue Beast. I was doing a bunch of videos at Blue Beast. Um, I did him on like a billion different teams versus specific matchups. Like I don't really do that. Typically when I get a new character, I'll probably do like three videos and that's like it. And that's over the course of like a week or two weeks, right? Um, because sometimes though, they'll they'll put out several characters at once and stuff. So I kind of have to manage it uh, because it's kind of hard for me to put out more than like two videos in a day. And then setting aside the time there, that word is again, to do like shorts and edit that stuff and all that. So it's just really time consuming considering I only have about a handful of hours a day, maybe maximum. Sometimes it's only a few hours a day to really work on everything. And if I have crappy recording sessions, that takes a long time too. Anyway, um, but I did a lot of videos for Kyle Ken, and I assume I use him a lot on this team specifically, but, like, I also, like I said, was using him on other teams. Like, I did a video with him, like, on y with Yajirobe and stuff like that just to get him a lot of green cards. I had a lot of fun with Kyle Ken. Um, it's just, it's kind of funny to see, though. <laughs> and so post down below what your top three and five characters, whatever they were showing, are the five and the three. Kale, 30,000 enemies. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Crazy. Journey began on May 7th. Oh, wait. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> 30,000. Why is it just like keep cycling back there? Am I raising my finger? I guess that is it. Okay. And then it just says you are a legend. Okay. Yeah. That is that is cool, though. I think that's really cool that they have this as something that you can kind of reference and see your progress with Dragon Ball Legends. So once again, you can scan my QR code and, and see uh, where you're at as well. Also, like I was saying, subscribe to my DBS TCG channel. Also, I will be doing some streams for that game too on the channel. I will be getting into doing more Legends streams as well. So you can check out the Twitch for those too. Links are down below.